All right, welcome to my Coachella Interstellar Bundle Gameplay and Review. So as you can see, we've got a massive bundle here that includes two skins, two Lego styles, a back bling, a pickaxe, two emotes, and a wrap. So the cost of this entire bundle is 3,000 V-Bucks, which sounds like a hefty pill to swallow. Sold separately, they are $1,500 apiece for the skins, but no back bling is included, no pickaxe, just one skin and one Lego version. Now the pickaxe sold separately is 800, the back bling is 400, and everything else is five. So Rebellious, Sonic Surfer, and the Rap all 500. So obviously the big bundle is your best bet, but again, 3,000 V-Bucks is quite a bit. Now considering if you want just both the emotes, it's already 1,000 V-Bucks, it could be worth spending 2,000 more for everything else, but let's take a look and see if it really is. So first of all, let's see how they compare to the previous Coachella skins, and I think this is wave three of Coachella. So we had Wilder, which also had a Smurf version that turned him blue and purple. And then we had Sunset Alto, and he was a pretty solid skin, but he turned this pinkish purple color. Then we had the Poet skin, which kind of strobed. And then we had Lyric, who also came with the purple Smurf version. And Desert Dawn, who also comes with the orangish purple. And then Alto with that nice animation there. So all the other Coachella skins were pretty much similar in some way. So these are completely different, way out there. These are astronauts for some reason, Cosma and Horizon. So they also come with a secondary Night Nebula style, which is extremely bright. I bet you could be seen halfway across the map with this. And then you can turn the strobe effect off. So I'm anxious to see what these look like in game. So let's start with the male skin, Horizon. Now remember, the only back bling is the interstellar butterfly. So I'm assuming that goes with both of them. And then it also has a reactive on style. You gotta figure out how that works as well. We're gonna start with reactivity off though. And for the pickaxe, again, we only have one. It's the Coachella Pulse and there's no styles. Now, oddly enough, we've never had a Coachella umbrella, at least not that I can see. So there's two gliders that I really, really like with these skins. The first one is called Prismatic. And this is from season one of chapter one. And the other one is called Flare Fair. The only drawback is this one has a checkered flag appearance on both wings. So we'll try that one on the female and we'll try Prismatic on the male. Now we've had other Coachella wraps in the past. There's Desert Breeze. There is Fin Fin Flare. There is Main Stage. And then the current one is Soft Synth. All right, well, let's see if we can determine the reactivity. Although I'm pretty sure it's just music. Let's go find out. Okay, so first of all, I 100% noticed the back bling has some nice physics even when we're just gliding. So you can see how fast they flutter at some points. They go really, really fast and then they kind of slow down a little bit. So that's nice. How about the prismatic glider? Okay, yeah, that is absolutely perfect. What a sensational match. See the butterfly wings flapping again? There it goes. Look how fast it is. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like the butterfly does that on its own, it's not even when gliding. I thought that was a special gliding thing, but no. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I actually like this color scheme here. I think the secondary style is where it's gonna be a bit crazy though. So pretty much every astronaut skin we've ever had in the game, I liked. So I'm a little biased towards them. I think these may be the best Coachella skins we've had just because they are unique like that with astronaut helmets. With that said, let's check out the aim down sights first because sometimes there's issues. Okay, well. It's not as bad as I anticipated. He is very bulky though. I think the female skin is going to have a way smoother and cleaner aim down sights, but we'll see. Now the wrap is reactive to shoot it. You can see it lights up a little bit. Let's take a look from the front here. You can see a nice Coachella inspired glare on the astronaut helmet, even though obviously that's not in my background. It displays that unique, it's like a Ferris wheel and a palm tree. That's pretty cool. And he's got Coachella inspired artwork on his costume there. So guitar, cactus, CD, things like that. Color scheme looks pretty good though. Almost pastel like. How about the pickaxe? Here we go. So that's a nice pullout sound. And again, you got the palm trees and the Ferris wheel. So it's a solid design inside. I like that. How about a contrail? Oh, wow. Beautiful contrail there. Lots of colors and some rings. And let's check a splash. Equally impressive. You got the rainbow effect. And it looks like some of the emojis fly out as well. So I see CDs, the cactus, pretty much the same thing that's on the outfit come flying out. So that's neat. That's a nice touch. All right, let's make some noise and see what happens. 
Okay, so I think with this first style, there's actually no reactivity. Now you can see the animation on the pickaxe, the two rings kind of swirl and sometimes they expand a little bit. But when I do the pointed out emote, watch what it does. So you can see it kind of vibrates and trembles a little bit. And that's the reactivity. But I didn't notice the back bling or the skin, at least in these particular styles, do anything. So let's turn off the lights real quick. See what they look like. Ooh, look at the beautiful glow. Oh, wow. Pickaxe and the back bling look phenomenal. Surprisingly, though, the skin does not appear to light up other than the helmet. So is that the reactivity on the back bling? But I turned the reactivity off, didn't I? So we'll have to take a closer look at that. There's the contrail in the dark, and there's the splash. So not bad. So now let's put the Night Nebula style on. We'll see how that looks. And then for the back bling, we're gonna put the reactivity on and see what happens with that. So the back bling looks really cool by itself with the reactivity on. It definitely matches this secondary style of the skin as well. Now the strobe effect on the skin, I'm not really a fan of that. And I can only imagine what this is gonna look like when we aim in. Let's take a look. Ooh, yeah. See, that's a bit much. I don't think I like that. However, they did put a third style where you can turn that strobe effect off. So that's good because I like this color scheme, just not the strobiness. Okay, so let's emote. Okay, so yeah, you really do light up. That's the reactivity. And it looks like... Hold on, let's do a different emote because that one's kind of hard to see. Oh, that takes the back bling away. Okay, so the back bling is reactive to music too. Watch when I do the rebellious emote. So the body portion of the butterfly lights up and the wings light up as well. But look how bright this skin is. Holy smokes. We're going to try this in the dark in just a second. And here's the Sonic Surfer. <laughs> You're like a strobe light. This is crazy. I can't wait to do this in game. Whoa, you do a swirly whirly there too. Okay, so let's turn the lights off. Are you ready for this? Here we go. Oh boy. So the back bling looks really, really cool. These might be the brightest skins in the game, especially this style. This is actually a bit distracting to me. Let's do take the L. Look at that. The whole skin lights up. Let's do the pickaxe too, so you can see everything lighting up in the dark. Oh my goodness. Look at that. So you can clearly see the butterfly light up as well. Imagine winning a game with this skin. In the dark. That's insane. This is what I'll be doing across the map. <laughs> Look how bright it is. I love it. Super cool though. Turn the strobe off real quick. Okay, so here he is with the reactive back bling. So you can see the skin is no longer reactive at all. Nothing lights up on the third style. So it's a little more low key. Take a look from the front in the dark. Okay, well the helmet still glows of course. But no matter what you do, the entire skin doesn't flash at least. But now you can really see that the back bling is lighting up. It was kind of camouflaged with all the brightness before. But you can see the wings do light up as does the body. Not bad. So in the daylight, I do like this color scheme and I'm glad that you can turn the strobe effect off. That's good. Okay, here we go. This is the flare fair glider. Okay, so that's not bad either. I think I like the prismatic one better. It's a little less bulky. I mean, look how big the wings are on this. Okay, so this one is definitely way more slender. And here's the aim down sights. Oh yeah, look at that. You can really see a lot more. You can even see behind her. So as per usual, I think the female skin wins. That seems to be a recurring theme in Fortnite. The male skin kind of gets left in the dust a little bit, but this is clearly the easier to use skin. How about that? And of course, everything flows. The back bling is currently on reactive. Remember, you can make it less bright than that if you want. Now, remember in this first style, nothing is reactive to music except for the pickaxe. So you can see nothing is lighting up other than the back bling, which we specifically have on reactive, like I said. Here she is in the dark. Let's take a look from the front. And yeah, not bad. So yes, I think I much prefer the female. Let's turn all her strobiness on and see how that aimed on sights looks like. Okay, so even her swirls aren't as big as the male skins, 
Ooh, but it's still a bit obnoxious, to say the least, when you aim down sights. I don't know, I just... It kind of distracts me. And I think you can pick a better wrap for the secondary style because this one only matches the first style. And I'm sure we've got some purplish wraps we could pick from. Do the bunny hop. Look at how bright you are. I love it. It's crazy. Let's do Rebellious again because this one spins you all the way around. See right there, everything's glowing. Strobing all over the place. Back bling's lit up. Just a lot of glow from this style. And here's the non-reactive version. Let's turn the lights back on. Not bad at all. Okay, so what we learned is the first style is not reactive to music. The third style is obviously not reactive to music. And the second style will make you light up like a solar flare. Okay, so these guys are all emoting and you can see exactly how bright I am becoming. You can see the pickaxe is pulsating and even the purple electricity inside pulsates a little bit. So you can see that every time someone emotes, the hologram inside the pickaxe turns into that purple electricity. So that's cool. I didn't actually notice that when I was doing the review. Okay, so it is nighttime, so we'll be able to see absolutely all the glow when we hit an emote. So the prismatic glider, which I was raving about, really only goes with the first skin style. I mean, it's not too bad with this one, but it's not a perfect match. I think this is a real player. Whoa. Got him. I almost died to that guy. Holy smokes. That was embarrassing. I couldn't hit a shot. All right, we got an emote on him. Here we go. <laughs> We're flying with the feather. Look at this. It's so bright. Whee! Oh, my goodness. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I just got sniped or something. Oh my gosh, okay, 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 okay. I was so bright, this guy saw me from halfway across the map and just absolutely bamboozled me. Yeah, I'm literally like a solar flare here. Oh God, these bullets are whizzing right by me, stop! Okay, there he is. Now oh, he's shooting me at another bot. Yes, my Mina got that guy. It was a bot, though. That one was a bot. Not today, buddy. You took out my Mina. That's what happens to you. Yeah, you like the glow? Huh? Look how bright I am. That's what happens when you take out Mina. Look at how bright this is, it's ridiculous. It's so bright. Okay, so I did want to test this. So as we saw in the pregame lobby, when someone emoted, the inside of the pickaxe turned to that static electricity. So let me do this one and see. Oh yeah, it does, okay. So I just didn't notice that when I was reviewing it, but you can clearly see it does turn. So that's a part of the reactivity as well. So I'm glad that they give you the option to turn all this off. If you want the first style, there's no reactivity. The third style, there's no reactivity, but if you want to be brave and stand out like a solar flare, you rock this secondary style and the reactive back bling. Oh, there's someone right there. Oh, nice 121 to his face. I'm coming over. Dang it, someone else is coming. Jeez, not today, buddy. That guy's trying to snipe. Well, if you want to know how this match ended, I went for a snipe, missed, got sniped directly in my face, 250. Then the guy, I think, was trying to find an emote, and he got absolutely lit up by a bush camper. So it all worked out in the end. The sniper went down to a worse player than him.
So there you go. That is the Coachella Interstellar Bundle. So what do I think? First of all, is this bundle worth 3,000 V-Bucks? Well, it just depends on if you like the emotes. The Lego skins are pretty much the same. I mean, both those actually look identical to me. Do they not? I don't see any difference at all. So I honestly think the pickaxe as well as the back bling truly make the skins more viable. And unfortunately, the only way to get those is via the big bundle. So if you can stomach paying 3,000 V-Bucks for this, I think it's a pretty solid deal. If you were going to get the two emotes anyway, then I would recommend the bundle. I truly believe these two are the best Coachella skins we've had yet. The other ones were kind of just reskins off the others, and they weren't that good, to be honest. But at least with these, you have options. If you want the reactivity and you want to stand out, you pick the middle style. If you like those colors, but you don't want to stand out that much, you pick this one. That's non-reactive. And if you want the mildest skin, then you pick the default one, which is not reactive at all, and it's got a pastel color scheme. So there's pretty much something for everyone here, which is what I like about these skins. So there you go. Out of all the Coachella skins, these two are definitely my favorite. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.